So this is question 9. Given that Px is a polynomial of degree 3 and is defined as x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are distinct non-zero integers. In addition, p a equals to a cubed and p b equals to b cubed. Find the value of p13. Um, this question is straightforward. So from the first condition, a cubed plus a cubed again, and a b plus c equals to a cubed. From second condition, p b equals to b cubed. So b cubed plus a b squared plus b squared plus c equals to b cubed. So from these two conditions, we get these two equations. We can take the difference, and before that, a cubed and a cubed can cancel off, b cubed and b cubed can cancel off. So the difference of these two equations will be a cubed minus a b squared plus a b minus b squared. And remember this is zero, so it equals zero. Now we factorize this one a a square minus b square and this is a minus b b equals to zero there's a factor of a minus b inside this a square and b square factorize it one more time and because a b c are different they are distinct so we can cancel the a minus b and we have a square so we left with a a plus b that is a squared plus a b and plus b equals to zero so from here b a plus one equals to negative a squared so b equals to negative a squared over a plus one negative a squared can be written as one minus a squared minus one and we can factorize this, which will give me 1 minus a, 1 plus a. So this will give me 1 minus a, 1 plus a cancel off, 1 minus a, minus 1 over a plus 1. Now this is crucial now because a, b, c are distinct non-zero integer. So if a is integer, 1 minus a is integer, but because b is integer, 1 over a minus 1 has to be integer which means that a plus 1 has to be a factor of 1 if a plus 1 equals 1 a will equal to 0 which is not allowed and therefore a plus 1 has to be equals to negative 1 and therefore a equals to negative 2 a equals to negative 2 b will be equal to uh, 3 plus 1 so b is equal to a 4 so from the condition here we know that a equals to negative 2 and b equals to 4 then we'll go back to here to get the value of c we continue here from this c will equal to negative a cubed minus a b which negative a is equal to negative 2 cubed minus a b is equal to 4 so this is 8 plus 8, it is 16. We can get the value of C from the second equation as well, which will again give you a value of 16. Now we know what is the values of A, B, and C. So therefore, Px is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 16. And therefore, P13 equals to 13 cubed minus 2 of 13 square plus 4 of 13 plus 16. By doing some direct calculation, this is equal to 1927. So 1927 will be the answer for the question 9.